Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Akeem and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, we're breaking down Supergirl's role in the upcoming Flash movie. We text Luigi about the new Super Mario Brothers movie. Like, really, we're gonna text him. And Velma season two is confirmed to be happening. And it's your fault. Yeah. Let's drop it. All right, now we got a new look at the Flash movie, and while we're all hoping Ezra Miller behaves so that the movie can finally see the release date, there's a lot to break down from what was shown in the trailer. Along with the two Batman, we'll be seeing Supergirl make her silver screen debut. Now the question some might have is, why is Kara in prison? Well, it turns out she'll be filling in for the role initially played by Kal-El in the Flashpoint storyline, which saw Clark imprisoned by the government where they ran experiments on him for Project Superman. Now, it's been rumored that Henry Cavill's Superman was, in fact, in the early cut of the movie, with Sasha Kaye's Supergirl replacing certain scenes that would have originally featured the Man of Steel. Now, given that we'll be dealing within the multiverse in this Flash movie, it's easy to have a universe where Supergirl takes the role of Superman and we see her along with the Flash and Batman take on Zod. Now, with James Gunn and Peter Safran announcing a new slate of movies and TV shows for the DCU, we'll definitely be seeing new DC characters step into the scene. And with Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow announced as a future release, the question some might have is if Sasha Kaye's Supergirl will return to reprise her role as the caped hero. Now the Flash movie has been long in development with the direction for Supergirl being part of the Flash film already in the works before Saffron and Gunn stepped in. But given the story and Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, it's more than likely they'll take a different direction and cast another actor, as the Flash movie and other televised properties have established superheroes can in fact be played by different actors while still being the very same superhero. Now, we've seen it done already in the CW's Crisis on Infinite Earth special when Ezra Miller's Flash ran into Grant Gustin's Flash. Now, with the excitement of two Batmans on screen, two Barry Allens, and a Kryptonian, The Flash is sure to have DC fans asking a whole lot of questions come June 16th. But feel free to drop any questions you might have right now in the comments. All right, now in other news, the new Super Mario Brothers plumbing commercial aired during the big game, and you can actually call Luigi and talk to him. Well, kind of. Just take a listen. Thank you for calling Super Mario Brothers plumbing. It's and if you need service, please uh, text us at the same number. You just call 929-55-MARIO. That's 929-556-2746. And you know what? I actually tried texting them about a recent clog I, I had in my bathroom, but they just sent me to a community site to collect my information, likely putting me on like a waiting list to get my clog fixed. But Honestly, I can't wait for a clock to be fixed, so I just called up the original Luigi, John Leguizamo. And he got that turd right out of there, and it, here, here it is. This is this was the turd. Y Y'all remember this turd. Anyways, yes, it's a very fun commercial. Go check it out. And finally, the news you've been waiting to hear, according to Deadline, Velma Season 2 is in the works over at HBO Max. Aren't you happy? I know you're happy. Y'all were hate-watching, and your hate-watch done succeeded. Anyways, the chairman and CEO of Warner Television Group gave Deadline an update on shows the company currently has upcoming and the adult animated series from Mindy Kaling was confirmed to be among them. It's kind of odd to hear that since, you know, it seems to be universally hated by the majority of people that ever watched it. But you know what? Well, I guess we'll be able to continue hate watching when season two premieres sometime in the future. Oh, and speaking of hate, you're gonna hate yourself if you miss IGN Fan Fest happening this weekend, the 17th through the 18th. And we'll be interviewing Cocaine Bears, Young Rocks, and many more notable properties from across the entertainment and video games industry. Exclusive trailers, panel interviews, and giveaways will be on deck, so tune in to Fan Fest wherever you like to watch IGN. All right, and that was your entertainment fix for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson, and thank you so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.